YouTube. Welcome to another video. This is the first one I've taken with my new camera. Uh, this is on the CD at 10 project. I have what there was the old inner fender that was on my truck. And as you can see right up here, that part is rusted away. The part that you're seeing is what's on this one is the new one. Nice new piece. Still gonna have to replace the fender because this area is also rusted out. And when I was checking my radiator core support, the bottom of it is where these where it melts this is rotten from here over. But uh, I got this in, I uh, say yesterday. Pretty easy to do. You got under here, you got two of these two boats. One here, one here, that's the one that does the main body. And then you got several boats, I believe there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes, eight. They go around here that connects to the fender. Now, speaking of the fender, like I said, I've definitely got to replace this one. This one, I got rust all the way through here. Where you could see it when I took the trim panel. There's a big dent that I have still not figured out. This dent wasn't in here before, but I'm pretty sure Liam from above sitting here came out. I got a huge rust hole right there, but I uh, cut away a bunch of rust when I first started this, and you can see the huge difference from here to here. Now it's going to make a little patch panel, or maybe go with a different model. I could never really figure out what I'm doing, but now that I got this started. I'm going to go ahead and stick with this. I found some new ones that I'm planning on ordering. Now, up there on the windshield, the uh, hood latches or the hinges, they uh, wore out from where the hood itself, which I got over here, was it's bent and nearly broken in two right up in here in that area which is where they're bad about doing it same on that one so it just folds like that so definitely gonna have to replace the hood which I wish I already had one because I've been having to keep my motor under a tarp while I'm sitting on here waiting to get all the parts which right now I am starting to do the tedious task of actually wiring, doing the wiring, redoing the wiring and uh, stuff. You look over there, I've got little strips where I've uh, started uh, with labels that was on the yeah, went to the motor. Now I'm inside the house where it's warmer because it's gotten frigid outside, and I don't have a garage so. I'm trying to get all that done in a very, very tight space. And all that's going pretty good. It's just a lot of wires to go through. But things is uh, starting to get good. I'm planning on actually blocking out the air conditioner. I'm not going to run the air conditioner on this. So I started taking that box off and might have got a little ahead of myself because I never realized the whole time that the the fan shroud and that was all one piece so I either got to modify that or get a piece that will hold my fan and block that part off so I'm definitely going to be able to put a plate back there in the back and blocking that part off uh, let's see what else I'm still waiting on my transmission adapter it was funny yesterday when I started doing the uh, wiring about that time FedEx came and it happened to be my uh, wiring 
tape for the harness, so that's that was really good. That's what been waiting on that. No, I'm using the I can't think of the name of it, but it's the tape that sticks to itself. It don't leave that red, sticky residue. So it's but if I do have to tear it down and redo it, uh, it's his redo instead of having that gooey stuff all over it. Now on the motor itself, I have re sort of reinstalled where the positive goes down to here and definitely gonna have to replace the cable because somebody's put a top in and I'm putting the actual Chevrolet part back in here this is what went to the power part on the uh, fuse block and uh, you know everything's sitting in here pretty good I don't have it bolted to the boat because I gotta pull it back out when I finally get that brace so I can set things up uh, you know bore out the uh, holes on the uh, flex plate so it'll line up with my torque converter and stuff because I am using my uh, turbo 350 I've got to confirm that it's a 350 it may be a turbo 400 I don't remember exactly what they told me it was when they they bought it because they uh, it has been replaced since the last owner actually had it. But uh, that's how things is going so far. Uh, didn't get anything videotaped yesterday when I put the fender in. There's a lot of stuff going on, so it's noisy and it was actually really cold when I put it in there. But it went pretty quick and easy, so I'm really happy with that. But, uh, let's see, I guess I'll catch y'all in the next video.